What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you uh, another episode, another podcast that I had with my friend Andrew Soler. He's an hypnotist. I met him one month ago uh, during this period at home and uh, we talked about motivation, we talked about engagement, we talked about uh, spiritualism, meditation and all these things. He made me grow a lot so I hope uh, that you can take some tips and take some values from this interview i uh, also leave down in the description if you want to check out uh, all these links about him his website is a professional he's very good he's from malta and i learned a lot so i just wanted to share with you i also have the podcast so if you don't want to watch the video of us talking you have the podcast i'll leave it down in the description anyway or you can check it out on apple podcast spotify or ever uh, all the uh, podcast platforms that you know so um, that's it guys hope you enjoyed it hope you will enjoy the video and that's it sorry for the quality it's just a zoom call but the value is great so that let's go it's really working on yourself using different methods right yeah exactly. like being explorative being thinking outside of the box that's why you're gonna get the edge over everyone else <laughs> yeah. yeah true <laughs> Because it's all about thinking outside the box at the end of the day and trying to find what works for you, what doesn't work for you. For example, it's a lifelong journey, man, even myself. I mean, now I have, I've been working on my website and stuff. And finally, I found the need. What okay. society needs me to do at the moment? Society needs me to, as a person, as a therapist, to work more on stress and anxiety because people out there are very stressed. They're in fear. And when people are in fear, forget your dreams, forget everything. Because when you're in fear, you will ultimately lose everything in your life. You will also be at risk of losing your basic stuff. For example, when a country is in recession, more poverty arises because the people are in fear. You know, it's not because yes. of the, it's not just because of the economic downturn, it's because of fear, because People will become less creative. People will become less entrepreneurial. People will become uh, less risk takers. And as you know, because you read a lot, in order to be successful, you have to take certain amounts of risks. You know? True. Because, true. Shakespeare didn't have, Shakespeare didn't have a master, you know? Jesus did not have a master. Ralph Waldo Emerson didn't have a though all these great people they just found themselves what they're good at and that's the message I'm trying to portray to you do not compare yourself to others because if you compare yourself to others you are actually their second you know oh yeah you can't be better than them if I want to be Marco Delia I can't be better than the original Marco Delia true if you want to be Andrew Solar you can't be as good as the original Andrew Soler, or you can be as good as Shakespeare. Because what you have to tap into, and this is not some magical thing each and every human being has, it's not just you, okay? Yeah. Um, is that you have inner potential, inner potential and inner gifts that only you have, and you have to share them to the world, and you have to channel them, you know? Now, it could be anything in life. I mean, it could be anything in life. Sorry, I'm speaking too much. I'm like giving you a speech, but I wanted, no, no to, problem. Give, I wanted to give it out there because it's, I'm feeling inspired right now. <laughs> yeah, no problem, bro. I'm feeling ins because it's because I've been doing a lot of reflection on myself, on my clients, on everyone, and the importance of having a journal. If I show you a journal, they will lock me out in a mental hospital because it's very scattered. I have what, what do you write on a journal? What do I, so I do that diamond that I taught you last time, many times. I write as well, for example, uh, what I've done today and what I am proud of today. All right. So, for example, today I've seen three clients and they are all feeling amazing. Today I've practiced my kicks. I feel amazing. Today we've worked out and uh, I'm, we've done 360 push-ups. Awesome. All right. You know, we went on a run and stuff like that. Things that make you feel proud and reduce your anxiety because, you know, you say, hey, I'm doing my part. 
In psychology, we call that generating small wins. You know, I think you do that since you post a lot on, on social media and stuff like that. You are keeping like a journal. I'll show you. I also have a journal, uh, but I have it on the phone. It's this app here, day one, see? this blue one. It's basically see it. a diary. And I, like, for example, yesterday, I post the picture of what I did and I write down exactly what I did every single day. And I've been doing that for four years. Every single day, I woke up every day and I write down and I post the stories of what I did uh, that day. And it's really, really, really good. It's also cool uh, because you see every day what you've been doing like exactly this day or how you feel exactly this day, one year ago, two years ago, three years ago. And that's very cool because you see the improvement. Yeah, and you can analyze your success. What you are doing is, and what you're doing is you're generating small wins and you are keeping record of yeah. what you have done. All great people had this. Um, what's this called? That, that Italian guy, uh, Da Vinci. Leonardo Da Vinci always had journals. Yeah. Um, he had texts and they're still alive today. Even Bruce Lee had journals uh, and Shakespeare had journals. Me, I prefer um, paper and pen because it helps me to uh, shut off the, the phone. You know, oh, yeah, I can have something that I don't need the phone to do. The phone. My, my martial arts school is on the phone right now. Everything is on the phone. So, <laughs> Oh, bro, let, let me ask you another question. Uh, I wanted to start... Uh, twice a week I wanted to start a uh, martial art and yeah. I was like looking around I've been doing kickboxing for one year but I wanted to change and just you know a little bit for my for my spirituality you know, and also a little bit because it's useful I think also in real life it feel it makes you feel more confident and it's some kind of activity so I wanted to try but I was very very um I'm undecided on what to take. I was looking mm. for karate, kung fu, mm. and kung fu. another one, which is MMA, which is the mixed martial art. So I know the mixed martial, art, martial arts, of course, is a little bit more useful in real life, but it's less spiritual. It's less uh, culture. Kung fu is on the opposite side. Karate maybe is in the, in the middle. Karate is a Japanese. Karate is a Japanese spiritual side, and the Kung Fu is a Chinese um, uh, thing. And uh, martial arts is a white man sport, so it's not spiritual at all. <laughs> yeah. It's useful, though. Yeah, no, Anybody in a real... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a real combat... Yeah, in a real combat situation, um, the most... If you, it depends what you want, like you said. In a real combat situation, I've been in martial arts for years, in a real combat situation... MMA and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu are the most effective, and boxing, those right. three. Th those three are for, for actual fighting, you know? Yeah. But then if you want a spiritual side and you will also know how to defend yourself, and it's the stuff that I do, it's Kung Fu. But I do a, sp uh, um, a particular type of Kung Fu, I do Wing Chun. All right. It's, um, it's, it's one of the subsidiaries. But then, what you can add to your Kung Fu and Wing Chun to make it more spiritual. And it can also replace the yoga because you are also playing with your energy is uh, Qigong and Tai Chi. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know it. You know like, it, right? I, I don't you know, know it. But for, uh, since last time we had a call, I've been studying a lot of like the story of yoga, energy. I know the chakras right now. I, I've been studying a lot more. Uh, about spirituality because it's a field that I never discovered before, you know, and it's going to change your for, life. Oh yeah. And watching for Kung Fu and other martial arts. I also saw Tai Chi and all these energy uh, balancing things. So that's very cool. Yeah. Kung Fu. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that, that, that Tai Chi is very powerful when you do Tai Chi, even if you just, you know, you just take a pose like this and you just, keep your hands like this, like having a tree and looking at it, you feel the energy in your fingers. That's a very basic move. Oh, wow. That's how I meditate in the morning. 
you just like hugging a tree and you feel the energy in your fingers and it makes you so good and it will heal your heart chakra. When I've gotten out of my relationship and I was hard, I was uh, sad and my heart chakra was always like, do doom, do doom, do doom, do doom. But I didn't know it was heart chakra back in the day, right? So well, I used to have pain here, you know? When you have a discomfort, for example, someone lets you down, Mark, or something, you all obviously have some pain in your body sometimes, right? Yeah. You might feel it in your stomach, you might feel it in your heart, you might feel it on your collarbone. Everyone's different. Yeah. Most of us feel it in our heart. Most of us feel it in our heart. And Tai Chi, yoga, meditation, etc., and Qigong uh, um, actually helps heal these waves. You become like water. Um. Yeah. Anahata. <laughs> right? Yeah. And once I sparred against an MMA fighter, I didn't, I didn't win, but it was good, eh? <laughs> uh, I didn't get my ass kicked. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, MMA should be like, it's very, like a fighter. Yeah, it teaches you how to fight, basically. So it's not... MMA is complete. MMA is complete. It takes all the defense and attack part of every martial art and it takes for fighting purposes, right? It brings you the wrestling, you know, the wrestling, for example. The wrestling, they bring them, of then they use the boxing to punch you. Then they might use Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to get you in locks. You know, it's. Um, I, watched, I watched also some videos with Conor McGregor fighting in MMA that's. Like, damn, that's strong. Connor, Connor is very spiritual, eh? Oh, really? He is very, yeah, Connor is very, look, at, look him up. He's very into um, law of attraction. He has, he worked with Tony Robbins. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but bro, I, I, mean, fight. I see, that the more I study, the more I see that uh, really successful people, like the, the big ones, the A-list, all the big ones, actually, uh, are successful exteriorly, but even if they don't talk about it, they had their spirituality as well. So they found the success interiorly as well. Will Smith yes. is super spiritual. Tony Robbins, of course. And somebody, maybe it's uh, religious. Somebody, maybe it's mindfulness, so energy. But everybody actually has this uh, interior success as well. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey as well is a big one. He speaks a lot about spirituality, et cetera, et cetera, Jim Carrey. Oh, yes. You know what that gives you? It gives you the, not only the psychological edge, it gives you also the psychological and spiritual edge that someone is on your side, that you're not alone. You know, oh, yeah. when people come against you and you, for example, are not cut for role, et cetera. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, it brings you like the support network that you need, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even Steve Jobs, you know, who was his guru? His guru was uh, this guy. I'm watching the docu- I watched the documentary. I was watching the documentary about Yogananda. Steve Jobs, when he was young, I think he was your age or maybe a little bit older. Um, he was building Apple in his, uh, in his garage, in his basement. And a person gave him the book, um, the autobiography of a yogi, the okay. autobiography of a yogi. And he flew, and that is the only book he has ever. Studied um, in yoga, philosophy, relaxation. Because is it a good book? At the end of. What? Is it a good book? Do you suggest it? I've never, I've, uh, to be honest, I've never read it. I only. Uh, I can send it. I can send you uh, one chapter of it. Uh, I've read. I've seen. I've heard it on the YouTube. It's the law. Of, the laws of success. And autobiography of a yogi. The autobiography of a yogi, by Yogananda Prahanzahanda. Ba, ba, ba. I don't know how to say. It. Uh, okay. The autobiography of a yogi. This is a very good book too. I don't live in Verona because I would give it to you, but I can't. 
oh, bro, I'll buy it. I think a book is around $10, $20. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, is this uh, the Integral, integral Life Be Vision. Integral, integral Vision by Ken Wilber. All it right. speaks about um, many things and te techniques you could use to become whole, to, to get a holistic life. Mind, body, spirit, soul. Inspired a lot of my work, actually. But me, I own new stuff. I don't only read from books. All right. Because I written my own book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This you have, right? Oh, yeah. I'm reading it now. This is good. Yeah. I haven't read it, but I, I read so much books, but I don't read these types of books. I don't read them. I to, to, to a... Oh yeah, bro. These are, these are not, these kinds of books are not uh, entertaining, of course, but they're very useful. Like it's very boring. Are, because... It's very boring to read it. <laughs> it's very boring. It's very... But you know, <laughs> as you, as you do, uh, I don't know, as you work out, it's the same thing. Maybe you are not, you don't want to do it because it's not funny, but you do it. <laughs> yes, true. Sometimes you don't feel like doing the burpees, but you do the burpees. Are you, are you reading it? Yeah, I'm reading it now. Which capture are you? I am on page, I am on page 22. I started yes, oh, last week, but I already read it on the, audio all right i'm at 47 so it's not that it's not that far okay i need to catch up with you then <laughs> oh, yeah. so you oh, today, are, bro, i'll read the third you page. are about building psychological time it makes a lot of sense oh yeah it talks about uh, how uh, time and like the past and the future are not real but they are just an illusion of your mind so if you want to feel happy if you want to feel confident you should just focus on the now it's crazy that's right but in my book also because i've spoken to you about balance right because last time we've spoken about a lot of stuff yeah so these spiritual teachers and uh, like that they speak a lot they they give us a lot of useful tools in our life but i want you to know that balance is key I've written in, the, in my book, the um, effortless living, the way of effortless living. Um, stress is not always bad. Obviously, my work is solely based on uh, reducing stress. But listen, when you are stressed in a particular situation, you are what we say, excited at the right dose, you know, excited and calm at the right dose. That's when you perform at your best. Because uh, it's not criticizing, and I would like to meet him and shake his hand, and, and, and amazing, the power of now Eckhart Tolle. Eckhart Tolle, for example, is very spiritual, but he's very slow. Uh, listen to one of his interviews, etc. He's only embodying spiritual side. That's what he's happy with. But what I want you to do, and what I want to help you with, and you can take it on board, and you can just bin anything I say, you know? You can just say, oh, this doesn't apply to me. But if it applies to you, apply it, okay? All right. Um, like finding the, finding the balance. Reading, applying, and also finding what works for you. Don't be ashamed oh, if you feel excited. Don't be ashamed if you are, feel excited. Don't be ashamed if you feel sad, you know? Yes. Just works you know if you manage to do 10 minutes 15 minutes uh just do what what works for you i mean but natural law works you know like you said you know the spiritual side of people who succeed because they are living in accordance to what we call natural laws and that's how we activate natural laws through quieting our monkey minds <laughs> oh yeah everyone is for the tester yeah for the test that, that's something i'm really really <laughs> curious i want to actually no i like it because i overthink a lot i told you last time i overthink and this thing actually makes me disidentify myself with my mind and that's very powerful because i always 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 keep thinking and not thinking is something that i need to learn
if you apply some of these principles that he teaches, um, you, you're going to change his life. You bought it before. You bought it before you met me, right? Yes. That's good. That's good. It's very important. It's a very popular book, though. Yeah, it's, it's very a very popular. popular. Once I posted the story on my Instagram that I'm reading it, like I received at least twenty messages from people. Oh yeah, that's my favorite book. Oh yeah, read it. Oh. Crazy. Yeah, at least twenty people. Superstar. Everyone sent. Me. Yeah. Yeah. People, <laughs> people like this. People like, people like this. But this one is more complete because this one also gives you a workout. It gives you meditation techniques more. And it gives you also uh, like this, like uh, morning Tai Chi routine. All right. So, bro, basically the Chi... The every morning as well like, like just a stupid question so the chi listen i i can teach i used to teach i uh, chi is energy chi yeah, is energy in chinese as kundalini right but it's in another language yes kundalini is in sanskrit sanskrit is the indian people language but actually and, at the end uh, it's the same thing it's all the same same concept no it's the same you want to know the story um Indian yogis went to visit China many thousand years ago. Okay. Chinese got in their philosophy. The Buddha, the All Buddha right. was actually Indian, not Chinese. Okay. It was from Nepal. Okay. And this philosophy made its way to China from India. And the Chinese have changed some stuff to fit their cultural norms, like for example, Instead of uh, Kundalini meditation, they have Zen meditation. Instead of yoga, they have Qigong. But Tai Chi is a fighting style. Because if you train in the hard style Tai Chi, if you train in the hard style Tai Chi that I used to train, it's more about self-defense, garnering energy, and using the power of the other person against himself. An angry MMA fighter comes, ah, ah, and, you, and you are like, you you know and you push him away you know yeah. we froze yeah. okay we're back okay we froze we're back yeah that's what qigong is i can i will send you some uh, some some courses and stuff that yeah that's great do, you know are... uh, like right now having some researches about these topics you see people talking about mantra you see people talking about meditation you see people talking about chi and it's all mixed and you don't understand so i wanted to understand the whole you know uh, have me uh, now to ask structure i've been at it for, yeah you have me to ask just ask me and i'll help you don't worry we will structure it because you need to find what works for you. this is all the same yeah this is basically all the same so basically spirituality could be your religion or this thing, which is Buddhism and Hinduism, right? Which is kind of not the same, but it's like the same uh, roots. Christianity, what is what's lo what it's losing? Christianity is quite complete, but Christianity, what it's losing is the body aspect. All right. Uh, like we Christians, uh, we we don't have. Um, we there is text in Jesus, but the church, the way it's built, you know, especially the Roman Catholic Church, they did they did not really follow Jesus's spirituality. They just made it themselves to obviously not to offend everyone, but to get control, make money, etc. Because Jesus spoke about mind, body, spirit, stuff like that, but the church removed that stuff. You know. Okay. You never you never heard a padre before told you stretch before you pray you know so okay. <laughs> <laughs> they they make more the mind body connection in a way but listen if you pray if you pray to if you if you pray and you affirm and you trust in god if you pray and trust in jesus or if you pray and trust in in la madonna or whatever you know it's yeah. you are still activating your own spirituality 
because at the end of the day, all that matters is your belief. Yes. Don't post the Catholic things because um, uh, don't post it because I might they might I might be attacked because Malta's ninety seven percent Catholic. <laughs> all right. But, but but I'm telling you, you know, because you want to learn, you know. I'm not. Yeah, of I'm, course, I'm, of course, these are just learning not, topics. I, I was I was raised Catholic and stuff, so I, I and I still um, am with that faith. But when it comes to success, when it comes to spirituality, they mindset. teach a lot of good. Yeah, mindset. Look at how successful they are. Yeah, of course. You know how successful they are. They have billions and billions, they are stronger than Apple, they're stronger than Bill Gates, combined. Because they know how to use the natural laws, but they keep them from themselves. Sorry, what? Did I cut off? Yeah, I, uh, what were the subject? The subject of the, uh, the, the sentence? Oh, the subject of the sentence is, that Christian spirituality and Catholic spirituality works. Why? Yeah. Be because there's a lot of people who, like for example, Benjamin Franklin, who were Christian and put the faith in Jesus and stuff like that. And we have proof how successful they were. They have more money than Bill Gates. Oh yeah. They have more money. They have more money than everyone. If you go to Rome, and I've been to Rome in your country right they have a very they have their very own country you know the vatican yeah the vatican and in malta they they if you came to here they have so many churches that it's here it's very expensive to buy property they have billions of billions billions and billions and billions and <laughs> yes and bro just yeah. another just to change topic for a second uh, all right i'm understanding the structure so I'm understanding the overall thing about spirituality. So there's basically the belief. Spirituality is what you believe in and what helps you uh, brings connections through the mind, through the divine, through uh, the body. And that's great. And you can do it both with religion, so what you believe in, or there is also, uh, you can take some parts of uh, beliefs that maybe are not your religion, as you do, and make it for yourself for the mindset. Because in your religion, maybe they don't talk about it, but you actually can learn from those things as we are doing actually for uh, mindfulness, meditation and things, these kinds of things. Catholicism doesn't talk about meditation and stuff. They talk about prayers, but you can actually learn something from these things as well. Right? So I'm learning uh, the structure and it's great. And what about, uh, so basically all the little things that you see, mantra, chi, all these things are, always in the same area but they are different countries different languages right that they talk about it mantra is a statement mantra is an affirmation mantra is something you say to yourself that you want to believe or oh, yeah. it is a phrase that you focus for example um om shiva namaha it means uh, that they are kind of summoning shiva shiva is a is a hindu god right or Shrim Brizi, which is a financial prosperity mantra. Or you could use an English word like peace, calm, I am, soften. They use mantras in order to concentrate their monkey mind, to concentrate their mind on a word. Like, for example, you are sitting like this, right? And you're thinking about what type of pasta your mom is going to cook. And you're thinking about what other people are saying about you on social media. You're thinking about, you know? So the mantra is like, Om Shiva. And you are actually just repeating a word and it's blocking your thoughts, you know? Okay. okay. And you can repeat it mentally. You don't need to be like, you know, like we're in the Buddhist temple or something like that. Oh. No, just say in your in your mind. That is what they use mantras for. But what I like to use mantras for with my clients and in my own personal life is my mantra is my affirmation. 
who I want to be. Yeah. You sure. know, if you want to be successful, your mantra is, your mantra is something you embody for a period of time. Your mantra could be something that you embody during meditation or something you embody during your life. I am success. I am famous. I am rich. I am you, you know, I, I noticed that uh, talking about the structure, it's all the same thing. It's always the same things, but it's just another word uh, in another language or for another country or from another religion. Uh, mantra or positive affirmations or prayer or something. It's always, this is what I was talking about, you know. Uh, you, if you want to learn about spirituality and you have all these things that you can see, but basically it's all contained in the same the same area the same field even if it's different religions if it, even if it's different beliefs actually it's that you are so right and what is meditation meditation is nothing special you know what the power of meditation has uh, and it has been so popular because it has been scientifically and psychologically proven to relax people to reduce stress to reduce anxiety because what meditation is traditionally it's prayer it's like it's, it's very similar to the christian prayer yeah. if a christian actually knows how to pray and actually relaxes himself and leaves time for god for example he will get the same benefits the same manifestations the same everything but in a, not a spiritual aspect, okay, Marco, now, on a scientific aspect, okay, I'm going to tell you two things. On a scientific aspect, mindfulness has been proven, as also self-hypnosis has been proven to help people significantly reduce stress, significantly reduce their brainwave to a delta brainwave. A delta brainwave is a brainwave of complete relaxation. You know, yeah, a brainwave where you're completely and utterly relaxed. All right. And that's why it's so popular and it's like, you know, the go-to spirituality thing. But you can get Delta brainwaves doing anything, even tapping, for example, tapping certain points. These are all chakra points like meridians, you know, tapping these okay. points or hitting the havening technique, like stroking, because when we were a baby, we went, when we were babies, we were used to being hugged. These all bring in natural relaxation. You don't need doing this stuff that you are now exploring with me and with yourself is being able to relax yourself, being able to deal yourself in stressful situations without using any drugs without using any alcohol, without using any medicine. You are able to control your state. If you can control your state, you can control your life. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you a story. For example, me, I'm nothing special. I'm a normal person. But for example, when I have a particular situation which has bothered me, like, for example, my ex doesn't want to speak to me anymore, instead of thinking about it like I do automatically, but I know what to do, you know? Like, I know that if I meditate, I know if I work out and change my state, change my physiology, or do havening technique, or do a self-hypnosis, etc. it helps me uh, de-link the thought from the feeling, because that's when the problem happens. When you're taught, like, oh my God, that guy is better than me on Instagram. That guy is such a better YouTuber. And that thought is bringing you the feeling. And the feeling is the thing that will hold you back. You know, what you need to do. You understand anything, any questions, anything to add? No, no, I'm, I'm a, in a simulation mode. Uh, bravo, bravo. Because this is very powerful. Um, when you have to de-link your thoughts from emotion, that's what meditation does. That's what Tai Chi do does. That's what everything does. I mean, if you want to start a martial arts, if I had to suggest, I will suggest to you 
I will suggest to you that you start Kung Fu or any style of Kung Fu and Tai Chi because it's going to help you also spiritually. Because even before, for example, you go to um, a casting, for example, or something like that, you will learn more how to carry yourself. Instead of, you know, um, Gary Vaynerchuk, he is like hustle, hustle, hustle. Do, do, do. Post more content, post more content. You know, don't sleep, grind. Okay, you can do that for a certain period of time. You might get a certain fear of success, but then he's getting, I think, the wrong message across because a lot of go then will blow your um, energy systems. You know, you have to be able to reset. Life is not a marathon. Life is a sprint. It, for example, it will take only one movie for you to be famous. And that one movie is a sprint. You know? Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to get in these states of flow that I call. You have to do great work. Let's say Marco, okay? Uh, social media influencer, right? Uh, if you focus, for example, one hour, one quality hour on good content, a sprint, you can just use the rest of your day to recollect your energy for tomorrow to do the extra good sprint. Because if you're constantly on the go, 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 the quality of your content is going to go down and down and down. Because you are increasing your stress levels and you are decreasing your creativity, your productivity, and also your problem solving. Because when your mind is constantly on the go, you know, constantly on the go, like the next, the next, the next, the next, the next, you're going to lose sight what we are talking about, what we have talked about in our chats as well. You're losing sight of your purpose, your life fulfillment. Gary V, okay, good. But if you take... Gary Vee also speaks about self-awareness, knowing yourself, etc., which I totally respect. But if you just go, 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 hustle, 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 you might end up with a lot of stuff, maybe, but you're going to end up burned out. You know? Yeah, I, I, I like Gary, but I... Um, Look, man, I, listen, you gotta fucking... You gotta fucking do <laughs> I like Gary. I also read uh, some books of him. And... But yeah, there are some things that are actually, I've been put in practice. You know me, I put in practice everything that I learn. So if I learn something, I don't, it's my nature. I just put it in practice like right away. So once I started watching Gary Vee. That's good. Uh, eh? That's very good. Eh? And reading his books, uh, I was posting around 40 pieces of content every day on social media. I'm posting on Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, LinkedIn. So I have a podcast. I have a YouTube channel. I had a blog. I have everything, bro. But now, like, I think two weeks ago, I made a post. You can check it out on my, on my Instagram. Uh, also on my YouTube channel. I think it will come out tomorrow or today. I don't even remember. Today, I made a video uh, talking about quality over quantity. I've always been for quantity because of the Gary Vaynerchuk uh, mindset. But right now, I'm uh, starting to watch other YouTubers. I'm starting to watch a little bit more myself. I'm starting to think about what I want to do, etc. And I'm more into spirituality. So I'm thinking of taking down a little bit of the numbers of uh, what I'm doing because I stopped. I, I didn't stop growing because I'm actually growing every day. But, you know, I want to change. I want to have a little bit of a shift and start maybe making less content, but making a little bit more quality. So I'm making more vlogs, I'm making more things. And I think you can apply in everything in your life, not just content for social media. As you do, as you just said, it's not a marathon, it's a, it's a sprint. That's a cool thing because you, yeah, of course you can train every day and you can make uh, a swimming competition, a swimming race every day. But it's better instead of having average swimming competitions every day and arrive third place or fourth place every day, it's better to train 
for one year and arrive first place just once. Because that That's remains. Brilliant metaphor. That's what it means. That's what I try to tell you. And if you take nothing out of this call, take that. You know, quality over quantity, relaxation over stress, self-awareness instead of what people think about you. What other people think about you is irrelevant. What you think about yourself is everything. You know, okay. now Marco in his short lifetime has, were, has learned a lot of stuff. But now in order for Marco to go in Marco level, up level, you know, Marco is soon going to up level because from what I'm seeing, he is growing now. He is like taking the advice of people who seem to be successful, but in reality, we don't know how they've been successful because I can go on YouTube and I can act like Gary V. Oh yeah. When in reality, I'm not, you know? I can write a book, um, so it sells more than my spiritual book, for example. Uh, hustle, hustle, hustle. Let's do this. You can do this. Me, I would be much more famous, for example, if I am preaching like, hey, you can do this. You have to inspire yourself. You are, you know, if I just motivated people and brought them to that level and did not work on the spiritual level with them and actually made powerful changes within them, not just hyping them up and then leaving them hanging like a doll, that's not being true to myself. So the superficial stuff of making it, making it like fast in a marathon, but then not being able to sprint the way I want to sprint. You understand? Bro, let me tell you one thing about this. Do you know uh, Wim Hof, right? You told me you, you know the, the guy. And I, I, yeah. don't, I, I just really, really love uh, the guy and his method. I like his method and I do it every day. And I was watching, oh yeah, I was watching his interview. Like I, I watched a lot of documentaries about him. But there is like a big documentary with Russell Brand. I don't know if you I know see. Russell Brand. I never, I never oh, heard cool. about him. But I, there's like this documentary which went viral and it's one of the most famous of his documentaries. But I never watched it. I don't know why. Maybe it, it was because it's too long. It's more than Russell is a famous. Russell is a very famous actor. Oh, yeah. And I started watching it because I, I said, you know what? I know Wim Hof, but I want to know more. And I was like, this guy, this old guy, he looks... Uh, average he's not like special or something he has this method and it looks like he came from nothing and he has this method and he's really happy about it but if you watch this documentary he sees you see that for his entire life and here comes quality over quantity for his entire life he preached since he was younger yoga kung fu he learned about energy learned about everything but he never talks about it right now because it all summarizes for him and his beliefs in this whole method. So he made his, this method, but it's not just breathing. It's not just that he discovered that going into the ice cold, he gets better. It's because of all the other things that he did in the past that growing and growing and growing. Now he has this thing and he teaches it. And he, people like how, why, how this guy just talk about this, how does this guy just talk about this? But he's very smart, in my opinion, to talk about it scientifically, to make it spread to right. the world. Because I think that he knows about energy. Are you there? Of course he does. He talks about... Yeah, yeah, he knows, okay, perfect. He knows about yoga. He knows about Kung Fu. He knows about spirituality and energy. But even if he knows it and he applies it in his method, he made this scientifically proven method so that he can teach us how to stay better and how to feel spiritual to other people, to the world, even if like it's covered mm -hmm. on a scientific thing. You know what I mean? So this is very smart. The, yeah, and on the Wim Hof, I mean, Wim Hof is a perfect example. I'm, I'm very happy you've mentioned him. I'm, I'm very happy that you are aware of him because if you weren't, I was going to recommend him to you too. Um, well, he's he, very happy. He is very, uh, every time I watch his videos, he is a very happy person. I just watched a five minutes video of him 
a very tutorial. successful person, very successful. Yeah, and I watched this millionaire teaching you how to balance a stick, a wooden stick, on your hand. Huh? Just for yeah. fun. Like, what the fuck? It's just a five minute. He was doing nunchucks. Nunchucks. Yeah, nunchuck, or even nunchucks. just a stick on your foot and like play with your, uh, with your kids. And this is a very mindful person. I love it. Yeah. And he's kind of a good role model for you too. Because you know what he found? He found that one thing, that one thing which worked for him and he's taken it to another level. Now, what me and you are exploring is what is your one thing? Your one thing could be being an influencer. You know, your one thing could be anything you want in your life. But he just found that one thing. And in reality, the Wim Hof method is nothing. It's only the cold shower because the Wim Hof method, he actually, that's yogic breathing. When I did my meditation course where to become a meditation teacher, um, it's the same. He's doing abdominal breathing. Yeah. You know? And when he does, you have watched his documentary, it was like, huh, 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 you know? <laughs> yeah. What is you know, moving around, moving around like this. Yeah, before the ice and after the ice. Uh, uh, that you know what that is? That's qigong. Okay. You know, that is um, qigong movements. You know, and you know, getting in touch with your energy. It's like George of the Jungle, but it's true. Try to do that before you get into the ice, and you see, you will get more powerful. <laughs> One day, I will teach you some qigong. You'll love it. Um, now, the, the, the thing is this, Wim Hof kind of knows all of this stuff and he brought it more into the Western world by proving it, by injecting him with viruses and stuff. Yeah, that's smart. He, <laughs> yeah, he is. He's very smart. You know what? Let's do a, let's do a, I wanted to do with you a 10 minute or a five minute guided session with you like a mini meditation, right? That I'm going to relax you all the way down and you're going to go through a visualization and try to find what you truly want and try to find your joy, try to find your happiness. You have joy, you have happiness already, but I want you to be more in tune with your subconscious mind, which more your creative mind. And it's going to give you the right tools that you want to work to. You want to do it? Uh, yeah, why not? Good, good, good. Let me just make it yeah. on the watch. I bought an Apple Watch and it's incredible. Fantastic. Oh. Yeah, make it to 10 minutes like that. You know what? Because once you guide someone, that's when magic happens. Right, that's it. Good, good, good. So, what I want you to do is now, okay, just pick a spot over your head in the ceiling and just listen to the sound of my voice, okay? Just look at the spot like this. You know, look at the spot. Yeah. And take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And keep looking at that spot. Keep looking at that spot. Nothing else matters right now but that spot and the sound of my voice. And as you begin to relax your little muscles around your eyes, your neck, your face, you feel an urge to blink. And each time you want to blink, you want to close your eyes. And now allow yourself to close your eyes. Close your eyes down. And as you close your eyes down, I want you to relax the little muscles around your eyes. And just listening at the sound of my voice. As your breathing becomes regular now and just relax your breathing and relax the little muscles around your eyes. Relax the muscles in your brows your face, your neck. Just allow your heavy head to fold forward now and just start to relax. 
let your heavy head fold forward now and begin to relax deeply and deeply and deeply down. So deep, so safe, so secure. As I want you to imagine, as I count from one to 10, you're going down a flight of stairs. And each number I count, you're going to go deeper and deeper and deeper, more relaxed. As you take step 10, going deeper and deeper into calm relaxation. Step nine, drifting, dreaming, relaxing, and feeling the urge that you want to relax and let feeling that you have before you go to sleep. Step eight, seven, Imagine yourself when you are deeply relaxed. How would you feel? In a deep state of relaxation, in a deep state of maybe meditation, trance. Step six, five, going downwards and downwards and deeper still in your subconscious basement. Your body is relaxed as you take step three, two, deeper still. And the deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. And one, drift, dream, relax, go deeper. Whenever I click my fingers and I say sleep, you will go in this relaxed state. You will go into this trance state. As I want you to imagine now that in front of you, there is a door. And this door leads to a beautiful, healing, delightful garden and you feel your hands going on this doorknob and you open this door and you go into this beautiful garden you see now visualize use your imagination to see this garden and you see the trees you hear the birds you feel the sounds Make it like you're actually in the garden now. As you feel, see, hear yourself in this garden, which is relaxing you deeper, and a sense of inner peace is coming up on you now. And as you enjoy this garden, you visualize this garden, you put on a big smile. And as you put on a big smile, you feel a sense of happiness. You feel a sense of relaxation now. And in this garden, there is a chair, a comfortable, relaxing chair. And you feel the sun on your body as you get warmer and warmer, like an ocean wave of relaxation, like a life worth living. And as you sit on this beautiful chair, you double your relaxation, triple your relaxation, eyes heavy, going heavy, fully supported by me right now, as I want to help you. And as you sit on this chair, you feel that your left arm is getting really heavy. Your left arm on that chair, on that relaxing chair is getting really heavy so heavy that you're relaxing deeper. Your left arm is heavier and heavier and heavier. And the more you try to lift, you feel more relaxed and stuck. That's right, go deep. And now relax your body, relax yourself and just enjoy your relaxation on that garden. As in that garden, you're going to meet someone who is of particular importance to you. And that person who is of a particular importance to you is yourself of the future. And as he enters that garden, you see how he looks. You feel how he feels. 
you know what he has. He's a successful, complete, whole person. Bring that image now to life. And as you see that person, you feel an urge to speak to that person. And as you see that person in this healing, relaxing garden, you shake hands with this person, and you and this person becomes one. Feel what this person will feel. See what this person would see. How would he react? What is his personal development routine? What does he do as a job? Is he an actor? Is he an influencer? Is he something completely different? Is he a businessman? Is he something else? See what you see. Hear what you hear. Feel the vibrations now of this person. As you start raising your vibe, you are now more and more confident in yourself. You are more and more able to do wise choices. And the question of who am I will be answered really soon within your subconscious mind. As you see, live and feel this person. And what I want you to imagine now that your heart has a white light surrounding it. And that white light is making you feel loved, making you feel accepted. And I want you to think of a person who loves you no matter what. It could be your parents, it could be a friend, it could be God or a higher power, whoever it might be. Someone who loves you unconditionally and smile and put on that vibe of love. Feel loved now. Feel loved. Because love is the vibration that is going to attract to you whatever you want. You are now more and more relaxed. You are more and more clear about what you want as you're bathing in this subconscious real life. Real love. Because if you can see it in your mind, it will actualize in your life. And I feel it in my bones that something good is going to happen to you in your life if you keep on this journey. As I count up from 10 to 1, you will get out of this garden and you will go back up the stairs that I said earlier. But you can access this healing garden anytime you would like. Anytime you need guidance, anytime you need clarity, Anytime you need relaxation, all you have to do is close your eyes, go down the stairs, enter the garden, and the magic will happen. Step 10, going upwards, 9, 8, 7, feeling more aware of your body, feeling more confident, feeling really, really good, so much so that you want to stretch. Four. Ready to wake up. Three, more aware of your body feeling amazing like you had the most amazing hypnotic experience. Two, one, you are back here and open your eyes and you are back in this reality. <laughs> Damn, bro. You did, amazing, man. you did amazing. Well done. That was just a short, um, short hypnotherapy experience. Just a very, very brief one, though. Very, very brief. Just the tip of the iceberg. That was good. That was intense. I loved it. Good, good, good. You're doing amazing. You're doing fine. Great things are happening yeah, in your life. The last, the last 10 counts, like the last 10 counts you said to go up, I was like feeling super because after, after nine minutes, I was getting more and more into it. And the last 10 counts, I felt very, very, very uh, going up, like really on another level. That was amazing. It's amazing. Well, great. One day we can do a whole session if you like as well. We can do a whole session. You can lie down. 
and you will get the whole experience. But this experience actually will help you a lot. Will help you a lot. Yeah, that's uh, great. Yeah, we will we'll, we'll do it. Last test. Last test. I want to test your imagination. Mm -hmm. I want to test how creative and stuff like which we're going to do is very simple okay so just close your eyes and put your hands like this okay i have to push away the <laughs> the computer <laughs> yeah. uh, oh. good like that good 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 and what i want you to do now is close your eyes down okay just close your eyes down and imagine that on each hand you have really powerful magnets really powerful magnets and each magnet is going to be very powerful and they're going closer and closer and closer and closer two really powerful magnets and the more you try to resist them not coming together the stronger that magnet becomes the stronger and stronger that magnet becomes the more you try to resist the stronger and stronger that magnet becomes so strong that it's getting them closer and closer and closer and closer the more you resist the tighter and tighter they want to stick the tighter and tighter and tighter they want to touch as you feel your fingers touching i want you to just put your fingers in a prayer position and now those fingers are getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter very stuck together the more you try to unstick your arms the tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter they become i want you to open your eyes now open your eyes hey marco where are you i'm here Good. Yeah, you see, you have beautiful imagination. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's, that's what that's usually I do that before a test to see if someone can uh, either respond well to hypnosis or not. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, Be, yeah, it's true. It's true. That's uh, that's what being hypnotist is about. <laughs> yeah, I never tried before that. Uh, that's awesome. You like it, right? You like, yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's, it's, very, it's very cool. Um, it actually brings you in a level of meditation deeper than normal meditation. Yeah, yeah. That, is, that is very, that, that is what I, I felt the last uh, minute of the, pre the previous one. So that, that's great. Yo, no, this is just uh, like joke, you know, not joke, just fun the other is the real hypnotherapy you know oh yeah of course you have any questions or stuff no bro that's that's great i was we had fun yeah <laughs> you remember last time i told you that i have to finish uh that thing about what my mind wants but and what my heart oh wants. let's go let's cover it let's cover it because Just we spoke quick. stuff i'm sorry me i'm all the time everywhere but once you get, you can get a lot of good stuff from me if you ask the right questions. Yeah, just just once, uh, ten minutes real quick, and then we ended up here because it's getting very long even for the recording, and I have to eat. <laughs> so I'll go on real quick. Oh, I'm sorry if I kept you, but me, I have work as well at four. All right, no problem. And now I have kicks, kicks. I have to practice kicks. Okay. No problem. I have martial arts practice now at 3.30. So, yeah, we can speak. Tell me, tell me. Oh, I'm sorry if I kept you long, but, you know. No, bro, that was great. I told you I could talk about these topics, like, for hours. That's <laughs> And I had a lot of questions that I wanted to talk about, so that's great. So I was, like, uh, making this, um, this exercise what my mind wants versus what my real self wants. So what my heart, you could call it heart, you could call it soul, you could call it whatever. And, and I actually have a real 
um, I struggle a lot finding what my heart wants. Like my mind really, it, it really easily can find what it wants. Like uh, what my mind wants, it's success, it's fame, it's money, it's a Lamborghini, it's a public speaking, <laughs> it's a, being a model, it's influencing, etc. But when hey, I... Hey, if you have Lamborghini and I'm in Venice, or you have to take me, eh? <laughs> Bro, I have it, a white one. <laughs> you see, you got a white one, you have to take me for a ride, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, of course. But I think that what, the, the day that I have the Lamborghini, the day that I will be able to buy it, I think that I, I will sell it like one week after that because it's a stupid dream. <laughs> but it's, some, you know, it's an achievement for yourself. Yeah. Once but what I'm seeing it, is you're growing. You're growing a lot spiritually, which that is what all matters is spiritual happiness. Oh yeah. You you will end if you want success success, you will end up successful. You will end up financially free. Because financially free is part of success. Even no. I constantly um work towards that because if you're not financially free you can't be yourself you have to go to a job and stuff like that you know oh yeah um so that is very important you have to bring balance in your life about the heart thing when you struggle to listen to your heart just take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out and feel your heart breathe and start breathing through your heart feel your your air feel your breath going through your heart and ask this question. Tell, ask this question, speak to your heart, tell, tell your heart, what do you truly want? What do you truly desire? What do you truly want? What do you truly desire? Who am I? What will make you happy? Because as long as the heart breathes, you live. And as long as you live, you succeed. And as long as you succeed, you will give. And as long as you will give, you will get. As you are connected to the universe, as you are connected to God or to whoever there might be, you and your powers are infinite. Because as they are infinite, your heart will reveal the answer, either in a dream, in a burst of inspiration, or if you bring your mind and heart in sync, your heart will eventually speak to you. Just listen with your inner ear. Listen. The universe and your heart will speak to you. That's what all I wanted to say, Marco. You have to listen. You have to make moments in your day. Let's say, let's say, let's start, let's start slowly, okay? We might we might keep this uh, we might keep this uh, friendship and coaching stuff together if you want once every 15 days don't worry i will help you start with 15 minutes or 30 minutes of being in complete silence you tell me what is complete silence you are, you have you live in a very beautiful region i used to live there i lived there for one month you can go in an, in the nature walking you will do your cardio <laughs> and you will walk and just enjoy the nature and do not listen to podcasts, do not take your phone, do not bring your journal, nothing. Just silence. You can do this in your room. Just silence and listen to yourself. Most people will go crazy. Why? Because they fear themselves. Like Michael Jackson said, I fear, I fear the man in the mirror. Na, 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 na. You know, because all the people, all the people fear that man in the mirror. I have seen many models, both male and female, and most of them, and most of them fear that man in the mirror. They fear themselves. That's why they project a particular exterior to the world. Not only models, everyone, everyone. Bieber, Justin Bieber definitely uh, feared the man in the mirror, but now he's rehabilitated a bit because of the. He joined Christian, Christian songs and stuff like that, something like that. But you know what I mean? It's just the gist. I bring you examples, pop examples, so you will yep. understand me. Although you are very knowledgeable and you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you know? everything. Being afraid of who you are. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I've also worked 
worked on it and constantly working on it because, you know, uh, sometimes stuff happens. And me, being me, I mean, I enjoy speaking to people and helping people, but me, I'm constantly researching about these stuff, so I can't run away from them. I don't work in an office or in something and say, ah, oh, I don't care about my emotions. I can't. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, bro, I have to go. Um, listen, can you send me the part where we did the hypnosis? Yeah, sure. So I'll post it on my uh, YouTube, uh, or maybe I post it on my website. Yeah, of course. Are you finding my help helpful? Are you finding me helpful? Yeah, bro, a lot. I told you even last time. That's great. Uh, first of all, because it's really, really not hard. It's impossible <laughs> to find somebody to talk about these topics like here where I live. Not because Veneto is a stupid place, uh, but because it's you know what they told really me. Really hard. Their home. People, you know. Yeah. It's really easy. You to know what they told to Enjoy me. with. Yeah. But it's really hard for people to talk with. Oh, that's true. So but they're still they're still asleep. You're the one who's awake, bro. Let me Wait, the, the the signal. Yeah, bro. There's one thing. Uh, this is not like preaching or this is not like it's not like saying that i uh i know i'm gonna be successful or something it's not like that i have no idea but no I but you know why, nice. i don't know why but since i started my growth journey like since i started four years ago five years ago now uh after after something happened you know but after this thing happened and started my growth journey Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people like you that help me grow always told me the same thing that they could see myself like they treated myself as somebody that will go really far. Let me tell you, I have no idea why, but I've always felt this feeling. Maybe it's entitlement, maybe it's uh, I'm crazy, <laughs> maybe it's uh, not being humble. I don't know. But I've always felt this thing. Like there's a lot of people that even when I've been to the Mr. World, I've been to the Mr. World uh, competition of modeling with every guy, like 72 countries, each country representing one guy. And there's a lot of guys that I even never talked about, never talked with, sorry. But the last day when we had to say goodbye, they all told me, 50% of people, once they said goodbye to me, even if I didn't win, I, I wasn't even in the top 20. I was like uh, 20 or something. They all treated me like, bro, please promise me you're going to be a superstar. Or bro, you're going to be successful. Keep it going. Keep it going. So for me, that was like, why they are all saying these things to me, you know? And I always had this feeling. So I have no idea why. That's why I want to keep growing and I want to keep going with these things. And documenting. You know why? Right. Because yeah, you know why? Because you are putting out the vibration of success. You're putting out the vibration of entitlement. You're putting off the vibration of actually achieving what you want. So the universe, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the universe is, is putting people and circumstances in front of you in order to help you you know yeah you like manifested me for example because i came across some of your content i said oh cool uh I've, I've heard your podcast i said this would be nice to speak to this to this person because he will get a lot of value from hearing what he hear uh, for what I say, and I will get a lot of value to learn something new, like I have. And How actually, did you cover me, actually, by the way. I discovered, I watched, because uh, I watch a lot of personal development stuff, okay. and it came a suggestion in YouTube. Which video do you remember? Oh, I forgot. I, I think it was more. Something like that. Sorry, I didn't for 
we froze. I didn't understand. I didn't listen. I didn't understand. It's a more. It's a morning routine. And then oh. my friend came across you on the Facebook. Okay. And we did your workout, workout A, B, C. Okay. And we got a lot of results with it. Okay. We got a lot of results, the one that you did. And uh, then I contacted you by the email. Oh, okay. All right. That's how I discover you. And then, you know, we, you're pretty cool. So we became friends. So <laughs> the reality is this. You kind of attract people and circumstances who are going to help you. You know, that, that's what it is. And speaking to having no one to speak there, when I was there in Veneto and in Lombardia, they thought I was um, like, uh, th they didn't understand who, what I am. Yeah. I some call, some I see few, one, there, some called me charlatan, uh, that I'm a charlatan. And Bro, I, let no. me tell you, I love, I love Italy, but it's very, very um, shallow. I don't know if you understand yeah. that. It's very, very <laughs> shallow. Like, I love Italy, and I love Italian people, but it's very superficial sometimes. Uh, so they love to dress well, they love to speak well, they love to listen to good music, etc. the food. But sometimes it's very superficial. So if you talk about uh, like deeper things like spiritualism, money, success, uh, or other things, people are, actually don't care. And let me tell you, even if I love Italy, every time I get out of this country, every time I go on my own traveling, or visiting new countries, or even for uh, for my job, I always feel myself so much empowered instead of staying at home. Like staying in this country, staying in Italy, I always feel disempowered by the people, and this is not like the right energy I want. So, and every time that I go abroad, uh, I was in Mexico, I was in uh, Los Angeles, I was uh, in Malta, I was in so many other countries. I feel so much better and I am a different person. Yes, I mean, um, me, good. Uh, yeah, me too. I love uh, Italian people, but it's true. You are totally, totally right. They're the same as the, as the Maltese people. They are, um, they're not open to new ideas, but obviously you will find uh, niches in every country. Yeah, of course, um, here we're very traditional. So it's very old. The mindset is very old. If you go to the United States, yes. which is a newer country, or other countries which are deeper, oh. uh, which have deeper traditions, it's of course a different mindset. Yeah, for example, America. Me, if I was in America, it would be a totally different story for me. Yeah, the United States is very freedom centered. Yeah, and the thing is uh, too, but Italy as well. You're saying Italy. Uh, actually, Italian people invited me over there. You know, to teach them. To teach them my yeah, method. No, no, there's a lot of Italian people which are actually very, very, very smart. But in normally, like if you go but out, they steal, they steal my things. They steal and they make their stuff. <laughs> they no, that's, that's totally true. If, for example, in Italy, you are so much afraid of people because you don't want them to uh, to take your money. I don't know if uh, if this uh, sounds. Um, I don't know if you understand, but like if you find somebody that is great, is a good guy, etc., you don't want to invest time and money because you're afraid to lose it. Mm. So what, what, you're afraid to lose money and time. This is why Italian people just, I don't know. I don't like it. I told you every time I go to another country, I'm different. Like I feel different energy. I am a total different person. I don't feel me, I was, disempowered. Me, I was greeted well by my own people, by Maltese people, but still, they didn't, um, uh, they didn't accept the whole idea. So, too, I'm nothing special, you know. But uh, yeah, it's 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 different. Uh, when I was in the UK, it was a bit different. But then the UK, you have a problem. There's a lot of there the the competition. They play very dirty. Oh, okay. Yeah, every country has their own flaws and qualities. 
Yeah, every. Okay, bro. Hope that helped you. Yeah, okay. bro. You have to go eat the pasta or what today? No, just meat. Just meat. Good, good. Protein. Exactly. Bro, it was a pleasure. I'm just going to stop the recording here. See you, bro. Thanks.